So let's take a quick look at USD Mexican peso. Uh, I know uh, those of you know I don't trade uh, this pair anymore, but I love doing analysis on it, and I got a lot of followers that do. So uh, interesting thing to look at uh, on the daily here. Um, we had this massive COVID spike, and now prices is, is retracting back, uh, possibly back to pre-COVID levels. However, we're at an interesting point uh, of this swing low to swing high uh, moment here, okay? We are in in between the, half, the 0.5 and the 618, which gives us, triggers us to start thinking about, uh, I'm going to leave it to make or break, uh, but normally this would be a bullish, bullish area. And I, st I do think we're going to get some sort of bounce back up and continuation uh, here. We're starting to see uh, a bullish candle form here on the daily. And if we jump down to smaller time frame, you can see lots of divergence, uh, lots of indecision in the market. Although we're still in this downward trend, you're starting to see uh, we've kind of broke a smaller time frame trend line. And this is a perfect scenario for my style of trading where uh, I look for these pullbacks or reversal areas. Um, me personally, I think uh, if I was trading this, making this trade, uh, I'd probably look for some sort of double bottom in that zone, uh, you know, price to come back up, test, it shot past S2, came back to S2. So the play, the price action is pretty much over on that upside move. And now it's stalemate. What are you going to do there? What are you going to do, Price uh, and and trader? And if you're the trader, you don't want to get hook snared into a bad bad spot. Although I do think long term this pair is long, so that's where I would put my entry and uh, see what happens. All right, guys, don't forget to hit like and follow here on Trading View. If you want to catch all of my trade ideas and all of my trade signals, jump on over to allenfx.com and we'll go from there. Have a great week and let's go make some money together.